Good morning. Good morning. So, thought it was not a very good idea to uh, record my driving. Because even though I'm in a happier place, mental health is positive. Road rage is another, a little another beast. Woo! Boy, you can't miss that road rage. Uh, yeah, people don't want to get over even though they got 10 miles to get another lane for you. And then don't even, don't even turn. They just, they stay straight the entire time. Or <laughs> empty lane, like empty lane over here driving in this lane. I'm trying to turn in to get in get in this lane. Empty lane. I get in this lane behind this person who would not let me in, even though they had 10 miles to get in. And then they get in this lane to turn. Oh my freaking god. That's the only thing that, I, that pisses me off. I don't I can't do the mornings. It is, whoo, yeah, I'm gonna end up hurting somebody. I need to get coverage. I mean, I have coverage, you know. But uh, it's Friday again, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? It's Friday again, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? Anyways, just to put in these eight hours. I don't record in the warehouse because I don't want anybody to say anything or get mad or I've had other companies that I work for they would be like if you're caught on camera or you, you get caught recording or taking pictures or anything you'll be terminated immediately because they don't want their secrets being put out like how they do things and stuff like that which is understandable you know but I'm pretty sure every company that has a company like that is kind of you know like Toyota they didn't want you doing anything you know it's like Nissan they'll, they'll, you might be a corporate with Nissan <laughs> if I was a corporate with Nissan I probably wouldn't even be here probably be making more money anyway I don't know I don't know some some places are picky so I'm not chancing it but I love my job love what I'm doing it's exactly what I was looking for too I, I, I couldn't be more happier more happier happier more happy something like that not good with English doesn't matter I grew up here I'm not British I'm American <clears throat> trying to learn Jamaican because there's some guys in here that speak Jamaican and they said it's just broken English and whenever I read this little chart over there it's not just broken English it's like what? huh? but anyway they gotta, they gotta eat my oatmeal get me water out of the back and maybe sort this stuff out a little bit better than what it is right now but I'm having a good morning, except for those drivers. I'm just gonna pull out in front of them one day. No, I'm just playing. They'll live in my Tahoe, so that wouldn't be a good idea. I'd lose my car and home. <laughs> nah, not me, bro. Oh, yeah. And I forgot, like, the most, probably, like, a very helpful thing that's also helping with me working again. I don't have to use as much fuel. Like, butane cooking on my stove nowhere near as hard or not not as useful you know like i don't use as much gas because i can use the microwave and it's so helpful oh it's so helpful just pour some water in my noodles throw it in the microwave Boop, beep. done but i also wanted to say hey polygrip if you want to help your boy out this ain't a paid promotion, but <laughs> I like the green kind. I'll have an address soon, so uh, I'm going to set your boy up with maybe like a lifetime supply. <laughs> I 
I tell them how good it is because it's polygrip. The strong denture adhesive. Yes, sir. For real, though. If you, you know, yeah. Denture adhesive cream, super strong, all day hold. Free, no artificial flavors or colors. Zinc free, because your competitor picks it in. They tried to kill me with the powder. <laughs> yeah, they tried to kill me with the powder. Throw it all closing up and whatnot. Yeah, it wasn't a good sign that they, uh, yeah, I'm, I was still learning. But now I know I got to stick with the green kind with the ooze control tip. Yeah, <laughs> see? It's a good, good commercial. It's not a paid promotion, but hey, Polygrip, help your boy out. They got an executive in. I haven't seen this one of those since I was a kid. That's crazy. It's not the same though. Uh, it's currently 6.55. I went to work at 8. I am just now leaving. So, uh, getting the hours in like I like to. And putting in the work. Getting stuff done. Enjoy that so much. Ended up not having any uh, trucks today. They have a Ripley's, believe it or not, museum? Holy crap! I have not been paying attention at all to any of this, apparently. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, going on 7 o'clock. Um, just now leaving work. Uh, very good day of work. Got a lot of stuff done. A lot of putting up, putting away, and picking. Water picking. Um, just now head to Walmart, I guess. Apparently it's supposed to get into freezing weather in Florida this weekend. So, that's exciting. Um, <laughs> yeah, exciting. Gotta go give me some propane, though, just to make sure I don't get too cold. Uh, yeah, just a very good day, very positive day. Very productive day. I enjoy days like today very, very, very much. Makes me feel good inside when I feel like I did a good job at work. Like yesterday, doing those trucks, boy, it whipped my booty. But boy, I felt good. As tired as I was, I didn't work out. I got to work out doing the trucks, so. though. And I got a good chest and shoulders and triceps and biceps and back and body and yada, yada, yada. My legs are killing me, though. I'll tell you what, I need to stretch bad. Currently, fisting to starve to death, probably. It's very likely. I'm kind of hungry. I did steal some. Well, I did steal, but I always say that, so don't ever think I'm like stealing. I got some crackers from work that were just sitting there on the desk. Some Ritz. They're fire. Um, but yeah, probably fisting to go get some propane to make sure I get the propane and. I really don't need to go that eat anywhere because I've been doing that too much, honestly. But I just get tired of eating noodles and stuff, so probably you'll give me like some frozen something Alfredo. <laughs> but really, if I get that, it's basically the same. But if you buy the ingredients separate, it's not the same because you get shit ton more so that, that kind of sucks like I'm ready to get a fridge because I, I tried the ice method and I can't keep that up I, I don't do well at keeping ice in a cooler because I get tired of stopping every day or every other day or I don't want to go to Walmart that much so I need to hurry up and buy a fridge and a solar panel to go on top 
if anybody is a solar panel expertise uh, let me know what I can plug up to my Schumacher 330 watt three, 330 watt portable generator that would be nice because right now I'm just charging it off the truck constantly and if I get a fridge then when the compressor kicks on it's going to be power drawing so I got to figure out a way to keep the battery generator constantly charging somehow so if there's any solar panel expertise out there let me know send me some links some something something anything at all I gotta save up and give me a Jackery 1500 system eventually that's that's the goal uh, but other than that I mean I'm doing great I uh, love my job love working with the people that I work with they all work pretty hard and I like that or whenever you have the same motivation that I've got which not a lot of people have because down here just to work like literally just to work but uh fisting past some cops so i'm gonna cut off the recording right now pretty sure those cops were just sitting there for watching those kids because where i park at by the beach there's always like a bunch of kids that park there on the weekend like loud trucks fast cars and all that good stuff that I didn't do when I was a kid or a teenager. I never, I never was part of that in crowd of like loud trucks, fast cars, motorcycles, and all that mess. Uh, I was always an outcast, always a weirdo. And I'm okay with that. I love myself, and I'm starting to learn to love myself even more, and that's a good thing. A lot of people say, oh, you're cocky, you love yourself, you're narcissistic. Well, sometimes you got to be. Sometimes you have to be a little narcissistic. It's just the way, that's the cards that life throw you. Nobody else will love you the way that you want to be loved. you got to love yourself even more. And sometimes that comes off as narcissistic and cocky, I guess. I don't know. But... True saying, too, also goes, you can't love anybody else until you love yourself. And boy, let me tell you, <laughs> I am learning to love myself. There's, there's this chick at work that I've been just conversating with, you know, not trying to do anything or anything like that. Which usually by now, I would be like, hey, let me get your phone number and then like send her you know, cute little flirty messages and stuff like that. But I'm not. I'm not doing that. And I'm not going to. So. But she's super cool. Me and her talk a lot, hang out at work, you know. And it helps me get a lot of stuff off my chest sometimes, you know. Some stuff I probably shouldn't talk about. But if it comes to mind and it's a story to tell, I'm going to tell it. So. I just, I, I don't care anymore. I have nothing to hide. And the more I release, the more that's off of me. So, it's like today. It's been a super great day. Got to pick, hang out by myself, put my headphones in, do all kinds of work, picking, putting ways, organizing. It's just all around a perfect day. I, I, to me, a perfect day. Uh, I just really need some food and I don't want to eat noodles. I don't want to eat noodles. So if it's run to Walmart, I need to go buy a shoe store, even though I don't have any shoes money. Go buy and see exactly how much shoes are. I think I get paid bi-weekly, so I probably won't get paid until, I hope I get paid next Friday. Oh, I hope I get paid next Friday. But if not, God's got me, man. I truly and honestly believe that God's walking with me and he has not failed me yet. Like, he made me stress a little bit, but, you know, he made me a little stressful here and there, but he ain't failed me. He's never failed me. As mad as I get at him, 
and it's probably as mad as he gets at me. He's with me all the time, and I, I thank him for that, and I praise him for that. Uh, I try to I try to wake up every morning and tell God thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you for walking beside me, with me, holding my hand, correcting me when I'm wrong. It's everything. So, but. I'm headed to Walmart, looking at all these pretty condos and hotels and bars on that side and stuff like that. I want to go to a bar one night, even though I don't drink. I just want to go sit and, you know, people watch. I would enjoy that. I gotta remember where I'm supposed to turn at. I think it's right here. It is right here because that building's being constructed. Yes, sir. We're gonna get by this construction stuff. Go give me some pur 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 pain. Like Hank Hill. Pro uh oh. Propane and propane accessories. Yes, sir. I need some propane, propane accessories. <laughs> I need to get. Also, I need to. I got a two two burner cook thing. I really need a single burner because I only use one side. I don't, yeah, I don't need the big two burner anymore. I needed it whenever I was in the apartment, but I don't, I don't cook like that now. I don't have to cook two things at once. I'm basically boiling water, boiling noodles, or cooking a frozen skillet meal. So. Start with the darkness. I can't turn the flash on or a light because I'm afraid I'll get pulled over and I don't want to get pulled over or get a ticket or anything like that. So, but I'm fixing to pull in Walmart and I've literally just been talking, 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 rambling for no reason. So, don't hate the video. I'm sorry. I just, like I said before, this is all I've got to do. So, this is all I do. Oh, no, that's it. There is a Toyota or Nissan, like TRD or something like that. I'm not sure. But they've got, like, a canvas camper on the back. Super sweet. Oh, I like it so much. Like, if I had a truck, I would definitely have one. Like, it is super cool. Pretty hard to insulate, I'm sure. You know, get warm, but... Man, it's so nice. Ugh. But yeah, I'm just gonna run in Walmart after I park and get some propane. And check on my butane too. I may need to check on my butane. I think I got one can in and one can, one extra can. So, hope everybody is having a good night. And for now, this is goodbye now. I'll probably record later whenever I get done in Walmart. I might even record a little bit in Walmart because I honestly, I miss recording. I do miss recording. Miss talking to myself. <laughs> no, I just want to, you know, keep content coming in and getting out. Uh, it's a vlog, so it's a video log of my life. This is my life. My rules. Oh, there's some cops over there. So, don't know what they're doing. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know, I've been thinking and like, I could have taken a job with better money. I mean, it was on short notice, and I'd already, you know, accepted this job I'm at. But, like, I could have been, like, called them, but, like, hey, I've got a job, you know, and it's paying better money, and honestly, it's going to be less work. But sometimes the money and less work is not what's needed. Like... Unloading those trucks, I love that work.
Like, I enjoy that so much. Like, it is... <laughs> I mean, it's just something to really think about. It's, it's it's not about the money. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get to financial freedom. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to where I don't have to worry, where I can get caught up on everything, and you know, build my life back to the way it's supposed to be, the way it should be, the way it should have been, the way it should have never stopped being. But if I did that. And I was still unhappy. What's the point? If I'm if I'm at a job that I'm just miserable and sad and depressed and just don't care, you know, what what would be the point in making all that money? I enjoy working. I I enjoy. My back killing me right now. Like, I, 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 I like that. Like, it sucks. Don't get me wrong. It sucks. But I'm happy. I mean, why, why would you choose to do something that doesn't make you happy? Just because it makes more money. Rather than do something that makes you happy. But you make less money. I would so, on a drop of a dime, go with making myself happy over making myself money. Because the money's going to come as long as you're happy. may not come as fast as you want. may not come in the same way that you want it to. But you're happy. So... Stay positive out here, guys. Girls, gals, <laughs> girls, ladies. Just, just stay positive. Follow, follow your heart. Because this right here, this right here will make you money. But this right here, this right here will keep you walking. This will keep you breathing. This will keep you smiling. To make you happy. This controls you. This right here. Controls what you do. Or something like that. I mean it may not make sense. But literally what I mean is just. Do what makes you happy. Don't be sad. Don't be depressed. Don't don't make yourself worry. Like it just I don't know. Right now I'm I'm sitting in Walmart parking lot looking around at all the people. Just got off of work at an eleven hour day from eight to seven, I took a 45 minute lunch. And it's just, it's perfect. This is exactly what my life needs to be like. The only thing I'm missing right now are my kids. And if I had my kids, I would be in an RV most likely, or a camper at least, something a little bit bigger. But for now, it's me and my Tahoe. It's Drake and Josh. And we're just joshing you. And I love it. Yeah, I ain't even got paid yet. I got $75 to my name right now. It was just... I put gas in. I got me some propane earlier. I got me a little frozen skillet meal I'm fixing to cook up. I went and looked at some shoes earlier. Man, this is my life. And for once, I'm happy. I just wish my kids were here to be able to enjoy it with me. Because whenever I get them back, 
Ain't nobody gonna be able to tell me nothing. Boy, and it's coming. It's coming. I know it's coming. I can, I can feel it. For once, I can feel it in my body. I feel that vibe. Like, you know how you feel it? You just vibrate. You vibrate get the good, the good, the bad, the ugly, etc. Like, you just feel the vibrations. I can feel it. It's going to be a long road. It's been a long road. Hell, it's been... <laughs> Man, I ain't seen my kids since 2019. Christmas. Maybe 2020. No, it's been two years. 2019, Christmas 2019, I ain't seen my kids. Last picture I've got, I keep it on my screensaver. And the time is just building up. Like I don't even I ain't even getting mad right now. I ain't even gonna let it stress me out. Because I know. I can feel that they love me. I feel that they can they know Daddy's coming back. Daddy's down right now. Papa's down. Daddy is down but I'm coming back and that is a promise Aiden Joshua Damian Wayne Jackson Alexander <laughs> Riley Kate I love y'all y'all are my world and yeah I might be seven eight hours away Y'all are always on my heart. Always. I love you. Each and every one of you. I hate your mamas. And I, I shouldn't say that. But I do. And I ain't gonna hold it back. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold it back. Because lies have been told. And they'll continue to be told. But I love y'all. And I want y'all to know that. And I'm coming back. And that's a fact. This is just Josh and you. And I'm out. I just wanted to apologize for getting so serious towards the end of this video. But I got in my feelings and I got emotional. Thank you everybody for hanging out tonight. And remember, stay positive.